Nemso Indian Defense, Hubner Variation, 5.BD3 and C66.NE2. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than Black in the opening. That was a well fought middle game that White got the better of. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. Opening with the Queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. And c3 develops the knight to fight for the e4 square and to control d5. In the Nimso Indian defense, BB4 pins the knight on c3, preventing it from moving or protecting e4, and threatens to trade, disrupting white's pawns after bx c3. e3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop and queen to develop. c5 attacks the d4 pawn, defends the bishop on b4 and prepares to develop the knight to c6 behind the c pawn. BD3 develops the bishop to an active diagonal that controls the center and attacks h7. And c6 develops the knight toward the center, supports the bishop on b4 and attacks the pawn on d4. Ne2 develops the knight toward the center, supports the knight on c3 and prepares castling. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. Takes back. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This is an equal trade. Recaptures. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is the last book move. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This kicks an opposing bishop. It is excellent. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is a mistake. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is excellent. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is good. Takes back. It is excellent. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is good. This threatens to win a pawn. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is good. Recaptures. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to win a knight. It is excellent. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is best. This attacks a bishop, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is good. This moves the bishop to safety. This threatens to pin a knight. It is best. This pins a knight, which restricts its mobility. This stops the opponent from being able to pin a knight. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. That's fine. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. There was only one good move there. 
This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is a mistake. This wins time by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This misses an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. This allows the opponent to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is an inaccuracy. This places a rook on the 7th rank, activating the rook and restricting the opponent's king. This is the only move that works. This threatens to fork pieces. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is best. This moves the rook to safety. It is best. Right on target. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is forced. A very strong play. It is excellent. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This moves the knight to safety. This threatens to double the pawns in front of the king. It is good. This stops the opponent from being able to double the pawns in front of the king. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This is the strongest option. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. Very precise. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks an opportunity to defend a bishop that was under attack. This allows the opponent to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is a mistake. This misses an opportunity to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is a miss. Takes back. It is best. Placing a rook behind an opponent's passed pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. It is excellent. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. Right on target. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Very precise. It is best. Right on target. It is best. There were worse moves but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores a better way to evade the check from the opposing rook. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This wins a pawn. It is excellent. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. That was a free pawn. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This puts the rook behind an opposing passed pawn, which helps counter the pawn's push to promotion. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. The game was close to equal but now white has the advantage. It is a mistake. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a rook. It is a miss. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. 
This evades the check from the rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks a better way to evade the check from the opposing rook. This permits the opponent to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is a mistake. Placing a rook behind an opponent's passed pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That's fine. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. Very precise. It is best. Right on target. It is best. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was a well fought middle game that white got the better of. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. This is the only move that works. It is best. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was a well fought middle game that white got the better of. Black found some nice moves in the middle game.